You suffered significant property damage as a result of Hurricane Sandy, and you want to know, are you going to have to pay the hurricane deductible on your homeowner's property insurance? Would you like to learn the answer? Come join me as I share with you this important answer. Hi, I'm Jerry Ojinski. I'm a personal injury attorney here in the state of New York, and it is now 11 days after Hurricane Sandy. Just yesterday, we were walloped with another big nor'easter that dumped six inches of snow to make things even worse. But to answer the question of whether or not you have to now pay a hurricane deductible to repair your property damage, the answer as of today, November 8, 2012, is no. And why is that? You see, years ago, the insurance companies got smart after suffering massive losses from natural disasters. They decided that they were going to increase massively the amount of money that a homeowner would have to pay first as a result of hurricane damage before they started to kick in and pay for the damage. The governor has now required that all insurance companies doing business in the state of New York have to waive that provision that requires a homeowner to pay the hurricane deductible. Now the hurricane deductible in many insurance policies was a percentage of the assessed value of your home. That could be anywhere from 1% to 5%. And no matter what value your home was, it was going to be sizable, especially when you have significant damage. So thankfully, the governor has gone ahead and made efforts to mandate and require that all the insurance companies now have to waive that provision and only require you to pay your normal deductible for any other claim. That's a remarkable thing and I want to thank Governor Cuomo for doing the right thing for New Yorkers who sustain massive damage. So why do I share this information with you? You may not have known about that particular provision and if your insurance company turns around and tells you, hey listen, we have to charge you that hurricane deductible of a percentage of your assessed value, you should turn around and tell them, I'm sorry, that's not true. And in fact, the governor has required that you waive that. And if you have problems, there is a hotline that the governor has set up so that you can address these disputes with the state insurance department and your insurance company. So I hope you're staying warm, I hope you're safe, and if you have any legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. Although I don't have power at home for now 11 days, my office is fully functional where our phones are working. So if you have legal questions, pick up the phone and call me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Ojinski here in New York. Stay safe and stay warm.